And why the first couple years of this survival job at Ellen Stardust Diner, when I thought it was just a brief stop on the way to Broadway, bopping back and forth and singing a 50s, 60s number, or maybe doing a solo from a Broadway show, was enough for me. By being in the number, you can Yeah, it takes a little bit more rehearsal, a little bit more time and energy, but it's really worth it. I look forward to the extra time I get to spend with my friends, and I actually feel like I've sort of kind of created something, and hey, whatever keeps me out of the bottle, right? Got me thinking, why does this make me more happy and more proud than figuring out another huge dramatic number for myself? Regardless of what they did in the Rooney and Garland movies, putting on a show takes time and money that's outside of my means. But hey, I've got a space to perform, I've got the time, and we've got the talent. Why not? I gave up my shift to come sit in line Good with these morning, nice people. Good morning, Abby Burke. Aren't you glad you put on makeup? <laughs> what number are you? On your little list that you made up. On travel waiter giving up shifts to go to an audition is, I didn't come to New York City to wait tables. I didn't come to New York City to wait tables, but I also didn't come to New York City to starve to death. There's going to be auditions you miss because maybe you can't afford it or if you miss work again without a cover, you won't get fired. Your Broadway dreams may pay the rent one day, but they won't while they're still dreams. So, do you live within your means, even if your means stink? Once again, I'm waiting. Not waiting tables, but waiting nonetheless. As important as my hopes and dreams are to me, I can't live inside hopes and dreams. I have to live the life I have right now. If I died tomorrow, what's my life been? Just waiting for a call from a producer? Waiting for a part? And isn't focusing only on your hopes and dreams still focusing just on your hopes and dreams? Just focusing on yourself. How do you get outside of your tiny little head, your tiny little world, and make something bigger, better than you yourself are? So somewhere between the teachings of Friedrich Nietzsche and my best friend Jessica, I got this idea that maybe if I wanted so much from this big city, it was time that I started giving something back to I know I'll never be Mother Teresa. I don't even really believe in heaven or hell. So I'm not trying to get in or out or either place. And karma seems too simple to me too. But focusing on your means and only focusing on yourself is focusing on your limitations. And I'm over that, NYC. No limits. Amen. Amen.